Welcome back everyone. I was 13, I was 14 beta 3 just came out. I'm losing track of numbers already and that pretty much shows you how this video is going to go. But I was 14 beta 3 just got announced today and released and I can tell you I'm actually pretty happy about it. Before I was kind of upset that Apple wasn't pushing an update in a long time and once they released it so far it's been pretty stable on all my devices. I will tell you though do not install iOS 14. Wait a little bit longer. I'm sure you can wait just a couple more weeks until a better version comes out. But beta 3 seems pretty decent right now. So it was around 600-ish to 700 megabytes on all my devices. So make sure you have that much saved before you go and update. That's a pretty big thing right there. That was one of the main things to keep in mind. The other thing to keep in mind is that this was a pretty big bug fix update, but also brought a couple new things too, which is really cool. Now one of the issues that it actually fixes was with the storage within your device. So basically there were some internal storage issues that were happening with iOS 14, but that is now fixed with beta 3, so that's really, really cool. Some other things within the widgets, we now have this new widget panel that comes up the first time you go into your widgets, so you can go and read it if you want to, it looks pretty cool. The widgets are taking a little bit longer to respond and kind of refresh, which is kind of strange. It was I don't feel like it was like this before, but it's totally okay, things happen. But we do get this new widget, so if we click edit, we have click the plus right up there. You can see that we do have this new clock widget, which is really cool, and you can go ahead and sift through it, and you have this type of layout, you have this type of layout, and this type of layout, and I think that's really cool, you know, it's definitely, you know, Apple listening, and I don't know who was asking for this, but I think it's cool anyway, so I'm really glad they added this. The music icon also got a little bit of an update, as you saw with the music panel, with the widget panel, I don't know where it went, but the icon is now red, so I don't know what, why they changed it in the beginning with, but they changed it back, so I think it's cool. <laughs> And I think they did this on purpose, obviously they did it on purpose, but I think they did it because, you know, it's more distinct. It'll make people wonder, oh, what is this? It's different. They'll click on it, and they'll probably end up signing up for Apple Music. As you can see, you'll go and click on it. And, it, well, I've already been on here before, but you, it'll probably make people more inclined to use Apple Music at the end of the day. So, I think that's a pretty big thing right there. And you can actually, speaking about music, share your music onto your Apple Story for your Snapchat Story within your iPhone. So, before you can only do that within Spotify or SoundCloud, but now you can do that within your Apple Music account too, which is cool. Now, I ran a Geekbench. I don't know if I ran a Metal Core score. I may have. So, for my single core, multi core score, 732 for my single core score, 1332 for my multi core score. So, definitely not bad. I think you know it's on the better side. And for my Metal Core score, I have 3165, which is also pretty decent. It's not too bad either. So, ultimately, what I can tell you is I think it's great. I think iOS 14 is getting better and better with each update. But I will tell you to wait off. Do not install iOS 14 just yet. Wait until, you know, a couple more versions come out, or better yet, the official version, and then install it from there. So, that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.